Hey guys, Faze here with another video for you today. Today we're back in Bone Lab, of course. Some brand new awesome little mods for you guys today. Um, just before we get into today's video, I just wanted to like pretty much go over that. Um, there was supposed to be a video like a day and a half ago, but unfortunately, um, a certain uh, Doom Lab mod wouldn't work for me. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get it fully installed. The um, tutorial, the Install instructions were not clear enough for me to install the mods because they, were, for some reason, it involves having to have you know W A or W A D S or wads from other other games. Well, more specifically, Doom games one, two, uh, Doom three, I believe, Doom Eternal, and Doom twenty sixteen. I don't know if it requires all those games or not, but it requires. Wads files from them, which I mean, I was able to get my hands on at least Doom 2's Wads files, but it still didn't work for me for some reason or another. I don't know. I followed the tutorials to a T. I installed the not enough photons where it needs to go and the user data and all that stuff. Well, not into it, but you know what I mean. I don't. I put the folders where they need to go. Put the other mod folders where they need to go. Got the wads and put them where uh, they're supposed to go. Nothing seems to work for me. So I would love if someone could just you know comment down below the exact details of how to do everything or make a tutorial video because I have no idea how to get this mod, mod Doom Lab mod working at all. So I would really appreciate it. I am still currently talking to the modder who made it, and uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm pretty much not getting anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm still talking to them, but I got tired of uh, you know trying to get this one to work almost pretty much in vain, and I just wanted to get a decent video out at least, and not you know not post anything. So here we are today in Bone Lab, some cool new mods. Start off with. Airplane mod. Don't worry about this flaming orb. We'll get to that in a second. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with the most realistic airplane. Sorry for any background noise in the background. So you can go ahead and just climb aboard. You can actually close the door, which is pretty neat, fully animated door. <laughs> Don't know why the, this plane hates this avatar specifically. It just does not like this avatar walking around in the plane. Don't know why. Yeah, look at this amazing extra bit of details and playing and everything. Super awesome little details here and there. Fortunately, nothing's really grabbable except for a few things in here, which I believe this is the engine starter. Yeah, that starts the propellers and everything. And one right here allows you to move forward, so we'll let the engines rev up and everything. I don't know why there's no engine sound. There was one earlier, unless I need to go forward first. As you can see here, we're on a cliff side. Probably not the best place to be, but it's the only place I can really spawn this thing in without it breaking a thousand times. And um, unfortunately, another little thing is there's no way to sit down. I guess the modder did that so you can still see. Oh, well, anyways, let's go ahead and pull up. Ah, uh, there's the sound. That the full speed, and we... Are we flying? Oh, no, we're definitely not flying. We're definitely not flying. We're moving, but we're definitely not flying. Engines are off. Mayday. Mayday. And we crashed. We crashed immediately. I don't think this does anything. Nope. None of these seem to do anything. So I don't know if this thing actually flames or not. It's kind of just... Kind of just is, you know. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I don't really know. It's still a neat little thing. Hopefully we'll get... Uh, if, unless it's already fully functional, hopefully it'll become fully functional if it's not. No worries there. Let's see if I can... Oh. 
Uh, did I get it? Oh, look at that. Super strength. Never, you're not super strength. And crushed. Alright, so I'm gonna try something really dumb real quick, guys. I'm gonna I turn on another mod to see if I can get this to work. See if I can punch it and it flies, maybe. I don't know. Oh, look at that. And punch! Oh. oh, there it goes. There it goes, ladies and gentlemen. It's flying. Nope, never mind. Oh, man, that's funny. The engine sound is still back there. Ow. Let's see if we can... All right, what the? Oh, this mod on here kind of, kind of can't jump super high. Whatever reason. Oh, there goes the force of my jump pushed it, oh. or something. I don't know what's happening. Why is he doing that? Uh, I don't know, honestly. We. All right, audio is breaking itself. That's good. Alright guys, one more try. Boop! There it goes. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it can fly. I think it can just move at this point. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much the most realistic airplane in uh, Bone Lab, guys. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and to show I'm not, um, not, uh, you know, crazy or anything. Here's some of the mo here's the Doom Lab mod. As you see, I'm trying every little thing here. None of it spawning in. None of it. There's like nothing highlighting or anything. Don't worry about the firework. Don't worry about that. You'll you know about it soon. But, as you can see here, nothing has spawned in. So, yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know what to do. Wait, what is that? Wait, did something spawn in? Oh, no, that's the, that's the, <laughs> the Nimbus. You tricked me. You tricked me. All right, guys, so I'm finally going to show off what this mod is that you've been seeing the entire time, though. Fire Orb, this is the Titan avatar from uh, Destiny 2, and this comes with some cool abilities, which is, well, this is one of them, it comes with three abilities, so if you go ahead and press trigger, go ahead, grab the hammer, and just, bonk, bonk. but that's not all, you can also throw the hammer, oh, I accidentally hit the, uh, I fell before the hammer did. Alright, well, that's, um, that's something. <laughs> Try that again. Go ahead and just yeet the hammer. Boom. When it explodes like that, let's try that again. A lot more force behind it. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter how much force you put behind it, but... That matters though. Bing. And there you go. So yeah, that's just one of the abilities you get. So if we go ahead and go to I believe the first one. Or is this the second one? I think it's I think that's the current one. <laughs> So second one maybe there we go so yeah this um this is on the timer so you do have to wait a bit before the uh ability activates we'll just go ahead and grab four here just and then <laughs> oh i love it let's go ahead and uh spawn some more forwards that is not four that is Plane. What? Hey, what? <laughs> Why did that spawn? That doesn't make sense. 
Ward, what'd you do to my abilities? There he goes. That was, that was a bit weird. I don't know why a plane spawned in right there. Oh, there it is. So up next is the uh, shield ability. Go ahead and grab it. You press you grip and then press both triggers and there you go. Now you can just press the weapon, the mag eject button or the menu button. And oh, you have to grab the orb first, then you press. Oh, sorry, trigger. My bad. You have to press the trigger, then you pull the energy shield. It allows you to run through everything. Oh. Okay, that's. So now you can just run through the enemies. <laughs> you can activate and deactivate it by pressing. That's why. Yeah, there you go. So you can activate it on top of an enemy, like so. <laughs> Pretty cool ability. Hey Fort, ah, uh, stop trying, my friend. It's over for you. <laughs> vaporized. <laughs> Man got vaporized. Can't even grab his leg. Boom. Oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and spawn in the rest of the four, uh, more forts, I should say. And yeah. Let's enjoy the rest of this. Alright, so there you go, we got more forts. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch to the last version of this. Which is switches. There we go. Another one. Another ability will appear in a second. Hi. I don't know why the hands disappear when I go into quick server mode. Oh. Oh. He. He. He, he exploded. Yeah, he did. He did. That man did. Hold on for it. Let me just. Okay, I thought it would be worse than that. Hey. hey! What up, son? What up, son? I love that. Dang, he dead. Yeah, I don't know if they're all on the same exact time limit or if each one has like a timer on it or not. I mean, I know they all have timers on it, but I just don't know which one is like, if they're all the same exact time, or if it takes longer for each one. Yeah, I don't really know. Anywho. Let's, uh... Let's have fun with this, huh? <laughs> oh, man, that's... That's terrifying. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, yeah, for some reason uh, it didn't spawn in in the uh, other other map. I don't, I don't know what happened, but it just didn't spawn in a button. But yeah, this is uh, Drax's uh, gun range. Um, don't know why he didn't name it after the file. Instead it's called VDVR range. Weird. But uh, still, awesome beer, awesome little map. He has a freaking TV for whatever reason he decided to have a TV. There's a cool little image on there. Guess it's just a TV, doesn't do anything, so. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump on over to the next mod, which is this cool little sci-fi gun right here that has a cool little animation that's kind of broken for me as you can see one of the things is out of place until it fully locks back and then it does that but here you got a nice little magazine with uh, 
with the laser bullet hiding underneath it. That's pretty funny. So, go ahead and just... Over. Okay. Oh, there we go. So a nice little laser pistol. And then locks open when you're out of ammo. You go ahead and just drop the mag. Get a new one. Makes a cool little and uh, cool little sci-fi noise when you reload. Does it every time, by the way. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a separate magazine reload noise for some reason, but it is what it is. Still a cool looking model and everything. I do like the... I do like the full reload animation here. You can go ahead and do a couple back, put one in. <laughs> Like that it looks super cool sounds cool gun looks pretty freaking dope no idea where it's from but still awesome little weapon all right so we're gonna go ahead and show off the final titan super mode while we're here just go ahead and just pull out this go ahead and grab one of these guys Suspecting Fords. Fire Ford. Has to be done. So go ahead and grab the super, activate it. There you go. Now you got the super. You gotta grab the uh, orb there, and then you go ahead and press the the, the menu button, and oh, there goes his legs. And of course, you can just use it as a. Oh, it actually freezes them. That's pretty cool. It actually freezes them in place, so that's pretty cool. Big use it as a obviously a melee weapon. I don't think you can do it. Yeah, you can only do the main super once with this. So that's kind of. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say that's kind of bad, but it is what it is. <laughs> what up, Ford? Hey Ford. Hey there, buddy. You, you see your friends? Do you want to end up like them or worse? Him? You do? Well, got good news for you, buddy. You can. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me just. Just have your, your things here, bud. <laughs> you can and you will. Huh. I didn't go exactly as planned. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully, I can get the Doom Lab mod working. If anybody can help me out, that would be greatly appreciated because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to installing this mod. But, uh, one little thing, uh, Drax, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, um, just a little bit of a tip for you guys. Don't go out this door. <laughs> If you do, well, you'll see in a second. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like, comment down below. It's always, uh, comment down if you'd like to see me play, you know, more of it in the near future. It's always supporting me down on Patreon. If you want to keep this channel alive, keep it going. Keep it strong. And as always, uh, you know, just, uh, remember to take a step back and try life, guys. See you on the next one. Alright, peace. That's what I was meaning.